Okay, so I got a ton of questions about my hook stands, so we decided to build them for sale. Um, one of the advantages of this design is, like, for these little boogers that want to be right up there close and get right up there close to that other leg and work on them. Now, I don't work on a stand or on a cradle very often because it's hard on my back. You know, see how I'm bent over instead of uh, having my butt under me. But sometimes it's just easier to pull off this way. And you can see in my stand right down here, you could cut two more inches off of this peg and then the cradle adjusts up and down. And another good advantage is with that cradle set up that way, if you got one that the foot turns out, you can just give the cradle a twist and get it kind of lined up with the foot to where it carries goods and lock it right back down. Um, but again, you know, people like cradles. I only use them on cripples because for me, it's just better for my back. You know, if I can get down here and get low and get my back flat, right? But if you've got one that absolutely has to be worked on real low and right up against his other leg, it's pretty handy to have a little streamlined cradle, you know, that you can get to. And so, and then mine has a little flipper version. So then, you flip it up. Stand by. And a lot of times on these little horses, I want the stand, to be, foot stand to be lower than, uh, than I do in the front. So having an adjustable stand is just nice. Yeah, Fluffy doesn't mind being a little higher. Kind of lock it in where Fluffy's comfortable. And then it's real easy to stand on this back foot and kind of get in here behind him and uh, just give him a little, we'll call it support for staying on the cradle. You know, the naughty little boogers that uh, want to pull their leg back, all right? But then I can work close, get my butt down. My handy dandy Jim Quick Hoof Gouge. And I hate that I like this tool so much, but I just do. Get up here. And so, anyway, I'm just not one for getting on a disc and I just like the, the convenience of a A-frame pod and the angles like the angles are set up in this thing as such to where it's not trying to flip forward they're not trying to pull around but hey I got too far out okay but it's pretty stable, you know, all by itself. It just kind of hangs in there. And then it's just super easy to adjust. If you want to come up here and move to a front foot, it's got a little peaky hole right there. So you can see at the very top, tighten it down. Now, if you want to feel like that's not tight enough, the way that toggle's set up, you just give it a tap and it'll be tight. Come on, it's not time to go feed yet. Wait. And then. You're ready to go to work finishing one up. They're super handy, um, not too expensive. I make two or three different uh, heads for them. Like if you want a taller head, because you do a bunch of bigger, taller horses, you can get that. But for like us for the van, it's real nice to be able to collapse this thing down. Okay, and like I say, I, I use it most often, to be honest, without the cradle even on it. And then it's just more comfortable for me to stand on and I can carry that cradle in the truck if I want to use a cradle. And thanks to kind of some feedback from the summit. You know, we built a couple of legs for it. Some guys were talking about wanting one that uh, would collapse down and go in their luggage. 
And so if you could cut this down to where you're just two inches past where they're gonna lock on. And then with just a turn of the toggle, you could take that leg out. And uh, so if you cut this off here with your, with your cross cut, it'll pack right in a suitcase. Uh, probably fit in your Pelican if you've lowered this one down too. Um, and then like the toggles make it a little cluttered around the base. Uh, so if you don't like those, you just put a 7 16th bolt in it and use the wrench and tighten them up and down. Uh, some other guys were kind of concerned about, you know, whether or not this thing was, was dangerous. And so you can put the safety leg on the deluxe model and it has a little ball right there on the end that will, you know, keep it from being dangerous. But I don't know, just kind of quick and easy, handy. Not too expensive, uh, and most of all, lightweight to rock around with. Now, my favorite feature of all, like the way these things are designed, is they're honestly designed to take your Cobra box and it'll hang right there for carting around. So you don't have to carry it when you're leaving around. So, pretty handy little feature. And then I also hang mine right there on the back of the truck. So, right, that's the new Vagabond hoof stand. You can get them at a well shot. See you later.